Yo, right. buddy. What's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning back in to another episode of Florida Prison Talk. I got my boy back for part three. Jay, Dykeman's Only, Pain Music, ENT. Y'all already know, man. The other interview, I got mixed up because we were discussing stuff before it. So this interview is going to be about him being locked up with China Mac, um, Louis Rosado, better known as Blue Boy, and Chi Ai Lee. We're going to get into that and the two other things I'm going to cover. But it's another fire episode for y'all. Go ahead and talk to him real quick, man, Jay. What's going on, y'all? What's going on, y'all? It's Dyke Mazzoni, man. Just, you know, maintaining right here. Chilling with my boy right here in, at the Blackstone Studios. He did three years, too. My boy right here did three good? years, How too. How you feeling, brother? How's everything? Good. Yes, man, I, I, I saw some of your work, man. I salute you. I we in Megastar Studios. We in Harlem right now. Black Rolling Stones, we here, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. You know what I'm saying? He did, he did town, too. He did, like, three and a half. Okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? But what's going on, brother? You know, you, you see me, man. I'm just chilling, man. Just trying to maintain, baby. Just... And, and let's, all the viewers out there know, in a couple of days, my dog going to have his own YouTube page. And I'm going I'm to, so I'm going to need y'all to subscribe to his YouTube page. It's a lot of stuff he didn't go over. It's fire. I was thinking about, I, I think I got the name already, man. All right. I think I got go. the name already. It's on. I was thinking about it since I think 12 years. And one of my, one of my album names is 12 years. 12 years of pain, right? So I was thinking, yeah. I don't know, I was thinking about using that name, 12 years of pain. Fire, bro, fire. That's fire. That's fire. Oh that's, listen, you know? bro, if you don't put no content on it, at least start the page first so they can come. They already be there waiting for your content. You feel me? But yeah, man, it's going to go down. So um, we're going to get right into it, though, without no further ado. Listen, man, a lot of people was, um, a lot of people was asking about China Mac. You was locked up with China Mac. You was locked up with Blue Boy. We're going to start off with China Mac. How you met China Mac and what facility did you meet him at? I first seen him in Rikers Island. Okay. I wasn't cool with him in Rikers Island, but I seen him in Rikers Island the first time I seen him. But then I I, I met him. I officially met him in Sing Sing. Me and him, me and him got cool with him. Um, me and him got cool between some dudes. I think it was one dude. He used to work in a mess. So it was about trading tapes and shit. It was something like that. But me and him, me and him just became mad cool. We was in the same gallery. And plus, I'm into the music. And he always used to be into the music, doing talent. They used to be doing the talent shows and shit, sing, sing, performing. Okay. And all. I was always into that shit. And then from when I, don't, I actually don't remember how we became, because we became mad cool. Like, like, man, cool. We used to work out every day. And we became business partners and all that. We had a little, little bullshit ass fallout over that, over the little, little business thing we had. But what kind of business thing we have? Okay. Elaborate. Oh, we, we we started. We started. He bought. He put the bread up for. He put the food up to start a store, like a juggling store, like a store inside my cell. Right. And he used to get mad because the time fucking the food wasn't be. There used to be mad food gone and shit. We looking <laughs> out eating the shit. I used to be mad high. I mean, him got to a corny ass argument about that thing because he was serious about his business. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. The dude serious about his business, man. And you know, just me and him got to some argument about it. We, we just like, we never, it was never, never like this. Like, we were still cool. Like, we, we had no beef or nothing. We was just like, you know, after that, it was like he, he kept doing what he was doing over there and I kept on doing, you know, same shit. But shout out to China Mac, man. I see he's working. He actually said he retired. Oh, for real? Yeah, he just said he quit. You know that? Like I yesterday, like TV. like yesterday or today, the day yesterday, I seen him on his page. He said he quit rap. He took what all his music down the north. Serious? Facts. I just met China Mac downtown when I was reading up on the merch. I just seen that today. I think I seen that today. Yes. I got took a picture with him. It's on my gram. I don't believe that shit, bro. He just said he quit, my nigga. Nah, I don't believe that. Nah, that's that's go look on his. Hard, look, look on his shit up. That's yeah. correct. He gonna come back out with something. Jay Z has said that too. He coming back out. I ain't gonna lie. He, 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 he had, I he think had, what niggas do that is like he had his, he had his, hard. he had his mom on the jump off saying like, "Yo, your mom ain't raised you to quit this down the third shit like that." He had his moms on the comments, my nigga. Mm. What kind of person was he in there though? Around other inmates, how did he carry himself? Well, I will tell you this much: he was always around the homies. He was always around the blood. 
Yeah, cool, cool motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Always looking yeah. out. If he fucks with you, he fucks with you. Nah, China Michael Fisher, so he, he always was he was always getting into it with the police, you know. Like there was always okay. there was oh he was always into it with them niggas. They knocked out his teeth in Attica. Police. Damn, serious? Facts. Damn. Yeah, beef. Yeah, beef with the police. Police was on his was on his it was on his heels. Mm. He was always beefing with them niggas and shit. Well, with the fucking cops. Hey, you you keep in contact with him now you home or? I actually try to holler at him because I see that he was he always he I, I was I was with him where he was calling Green Lantern and all that like I was cool with him. He showed me all pictures and all that. I knew his story while he was locked up and all that. He showed me all his pictures of celebrities and all that that he was that he was with. Right, right, right. While we was locked up. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when, when I first, I think I think he was locked up when I came home, though. Okay, 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 okay. Then okay. I was talking about some miles away, I see, and he ain't go by China Mac. Oh, okay. His name was GK Prison. He ain't go by China Mac. Got you, got you, got you. Okay, okay, okay. So, um. Shout out to China Mac, though. Keep doing your thing, yeah. bro. Keep that up. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to China Mac. How about um Louis Rosado, Blue Boy? What you know about Blue Boy? Well, everybody know that he's the one to kill Larry Davis. That's a fact. That's a fact. You know, he's the one to kill Larry Davis at the, in the yard. Left him, left him in the yard. Um, I met Blue Boy. I met Blue Boy in Clint Box. He was the porter. Okay. Okay. That funny shit was that. This this how I met Blue Boy. Shout out to that brother, dude. He's, that man is doing life, man. He's never coming home. I met Blue Boy. As soon as I got to Clinton Box, I was in the first gallery downstairs. I came from, they, they kicked me out of sink scene and sent me straight to Clinton Box. So Blue Boy was put, he was pushing a cart. I think he, I, I forgot if he was collecting the food, like the food trays or something. I forgot what he was doing, but he was pushing the cart. I was unpacking my property. I had mad tapes. I had all tapes. I had every fucking tape, all classic. So he stops and he looks in my cell, which is a violation. Niggas not really supposed to be looking at yourself, but the nigga stops and looks in my cell. <laughs> and he's like, oh shit, son, you got all big pun shit? And he's like, yo, where you just came from? And I told him, like, he's came from Sinks. So then he was like, you affiliated? And I said, yeah, I told him. I yeah. told him what I was. He was like, oh shit, that's what's up. You got like two, three of your big bros upstairs. So he was like, oh. He, he goes, he was like, Victor Machete, one of your brothers down there. Victor Machete, at that time, he used to be one of the one of the big bros or whatever. Woo, woo. Okay. I heard he died. Rest in peace to him if he did die. But I heard that dude die, Victor Machete. But he was like, you one of your little bros is down here, whatever, woo, woo. He was like, yo, your big bro's upstairs. That's, that, I know him. We, we, we know each other from that long. We've been in mad spots together. He was like, yo, right. let me borrow, let me borrow both of those on big punt tapes right there. So I was like, cool, fuck it. Let the nigga my tapes, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know this dude. But I, when I got to the box, when I got to Clinton box, I only had like, I'll say like a week left to get out, to get out of the box. Cause I already have finished my time somewhere else. They just transferred me to Clinton to, to finish my time off and kick me off the population. You know okay. Yeah. So, for God, I think it was like three days later, four days later, I was collecting my shit cause I knew I was coming, I was leaving. You know what I'm saying? I'm collecting my magazines, all my porno magazines, fucking, um, you know, just all my, all my tapes. I have mad tapes. I over, I had like, over a hundred tapes. You're already allowed to have fifty, but I I had over fifty. And um, I called him like your blue boy. I already when I I already knew who he was because his name was extremely bells. His name his name you hear his name you over all over. So I already knew when I met him I was like okay, this this is who said to be talking about whatever. Boom, right. He comes in front of myself. And I'm like yo, what's up, man? Let me get my two tapes or whatever. And he looks at me. He was like, "Look, yeah, I like you, man. You and, and, and you don't got no fuck shit with you. I was gonna keep these shits. 
<laughs> That's what Blue Boy tells me. My nigga. He was always going to keep this shit. And he gave me my tapes. He gave me my two tapes. And then I only see the nigga, I only seen him another time, but he didn't even last that long. And that's what I wanted to ask you real quick. Being that Blue Boy is a crip, and I keep hearing it's hard for crips to be in population because it always pop off with him. Did that apply to Blue Boy also, or could he walk? Nah, <laughs> the Blue Boy was different, different. You serious? Nah, that didn't like apply like to the Blue Boy. Blue Boy wasn't crip when he got locked up. He was okay. something else. Blue Boy was, his pops is a, he's another um old timer. I think his pop's name is Coco. Um, shout out to that dude. He's doing forever too. I think he was in Sing Sing. His okay. pops is a revolutionary. It's, it's some shit called Macheteros or some shit like that. I forgot. I don't know. Why, you know, I don't want to. But it's something like Macheteros. And he was, there was that. That's like a like, Puerto Rican rest, revolutionary thing going on over there. They was part of that. Now, Blue Boy, for somehow, some reason, I don't know where he decided to become Crip. The rumor is, from what I understand, is that he did just one day in the box. He said, man, he was, I mean, Bloods was doing mad noise. And he was like, man, fuck that. He just, I'm, I'm Crip. And he just came right. out, really mean Crip. You know what I'm saying? And he yeah. already got three bodies. He's going, like, right, right. really wanted to die. Like, even want to go knife to knife with this dude. And this dude is known for going knife to knife with people in the yard. Like, Okay, okay, okay. He already supposedly had killed somebody in prison. He had dog. He was locked up for a double homicide. He mm. shot a shit up. You can look at his his, 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 his shit up. It's on, it's on YouTube. Okay, he, okay. He, 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 he killed two people or some shit with a shotgun. Mm. Damn. Mm -hmm. So is he, is, is he, so most of his time is spent in, in confinement, huh? In a box? Well, I'll tell you from the time I did 12 years. Yes, but the time that I was up there, yeah, and he came when he, like I said, when he came, when he came out the box, he killed Blue Boy. I mean, Blue Boy, pardon me, Blue Boy killed Larry Davis, so they gave him another eight years in the box. Damn. Damn. Okay, okay. So we went over, we just went over. You were locked up with um, China Mac, Blue Boy, Louis Rosado. How about Chi Ali? I was with Chi Ali in the island, and I was with Chi Ali in Sinkin. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, what kind of Charlie was chill? Charlie, you know he's quiet. He he he's quiet. Um, I actually used to see Charlie a lot in the barber shop because I used to be I used to work in the barber shop. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So if your weight is up, you can just then especially in Sinkson, in Sinkson, this mad CEOs that's from the streets, that's from the hood, it's right there. You know what I'm saying? Right there. Yep. Sinkson basically is like the jail. They got the most black and Hispanic. It's like Rikers Island type of CEOs type of shit. Okay. So Chi Ali is known. He's a legend. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. And, and plus in the island, in the island, he was he was he was doing his thing. Chi Ali was okay. doing his thing. In the island, ringing bells out there down right. there, and um, he's known. You know, you already know who he is. And plus in prison, you really don't never want to come off like a dick bot or right. Got gotcha. you. You never want to come off like oh, like a fan type of shit, nigga. We locked up, niggas is doing time. You know what I'm saying, but he was cool though. Like he he he's a cool dude. I, I, I want to say I cut his hair one time because his barber wasn't there. But I I don't want to sound like I'm freestyling my G. But I know for a fact I used to see the nigga every time. Yeah. Every yeah. time in the barber shop, he used to spend the yard with his little team. He had his team and all that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, got you, he got had you. His team and all that. So he 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 was good. All right. Um, a couple more questions. Your organization at Trinitarios. Out of all of the other organizations in the New York State Department of Corrections, which one will you say you are, you guys are closest allies with? Who, you, which organ, other organization do y'all rock with the most? We rock with everybody, bro. It's not for nothing. We rock with everybody. Okay. The thing is that when when it gets when it gets ugly, it just nigga, it gets ugly, and sometimes. You know, like majority of times, it's always like I said, it's always because of somebody else. And you just gotta, you gotta ride with, you gotta be what, what you wish or who you riding with. But like I said, it be so many bloods that it always seems like the bloods be having the majority of beef with everybody else. You know what I'm saying? It don't yeah. matter what it is. It don't matter what group it is. But one thing I can say, bro, beefing with the three rules is dangerous. Okay. Especially when you got a lot, a lot of thoroughbreds. That's all I was hearing in the comments, at least my next question, 
I keep hearing people in the comments say, okay, them boys nice with the knife. They good with the knife. Is that something you learn when you get there? Do, do y'all do knife training when y'all get there or? I'm going to tell you, I'm gonna, we, come, we come from the Caribbeans, B. We come, we, 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 you're talking about, you're talking about Panamanians, Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, you know what I'm saying? We talking about Cubans, we talking about Colombians, dudes that coming straight from where they coming from. Colombia. You know what I'm saying? They coming from where they coming from, but that's how they used to fight back in the days with machetes. <coughs> In right. those countries back in the days, they used to be with machetes. You had to probably be up in the higher realms with the mob and shit to have the guns and all that. Or you had to have bread to have a gun. But right. back in those days, the Dominican Republic, you go on YouTube, still still getting chopped with machetes and all that. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, in, in the, the Trinitarios, the majority of Trinitarios is Dominicans. Okay, okay. And, and they, back in they back in their country, that's what they dealt was with knives and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, it's in the jeans, basically. That's what yeah, that shit is just like it's like natural. It's, natural. it's natural. It's like it's like if you like if you fighting every day, you playing you like if you practice, you do Plus something every day. How to turn certain objects like scissors, pencils, whatever the case may be, into weapons and shit like that. Like it don't so matter what it is, like, bro. That's, that's a, that's I don't see niggas get stabbed with pencils. And that shit, you can make money Man. off of it too. Like, hell know? yeah, there was a nigga they call him Pokemon. And there, there was a nigga in the island they used to call the nigga Pokemon and the three used to have like seven pencils around his waist. Mm. He used facts and he used all them shit. Damn. They, they, you, yo, you could probably Google him. This nigga was wild boy. Yeah. They used to call him Pokemon. He ain't yeah. know no English. Damn. That's even more dangerous. He ain't even oh. He used to stay with wild and he was an adolescent. He used to stay with wild. When I met him, he was an adolescent. I was already... I was already grown, but I met him. And the nigga used to always, and I used to do it on purpose as I heard the rumors. I used to check his waist and he literally used to have like six pencils around his Damn. waist. Damn. <laughs> like that kid was wild. Yeah, but he yeah. used to, I used to, but I used to ask him like, yo, Manito, why you don't look for metal or something? And his explanation in Spanish was like, with metal, they can charge you faster than charging with the pencil. They give you the pencils. That's right. That's right. Keep me the pencils. I'm protecting myself with what they're giving me. Mm. Got gotcha. you. Mm. And listen, yeah. the, last, the last interview I asked you about the Como, the, the, the child molesters and the rapists. I asked you what happened to them. You said they get stabbed. And then you said they used to. So what changed? That? Are, are they more protected now by, by, the, by the, the guards? Yeah, the, the, they, got, they got they got program they got programs for them now. The NPC, they go nah, they certain. nah now they they got they got certain jails now. They got certain jails now, bro. They got they got hugs for them. Mm, that's crazy. They, they got they got them. they got yeah they got they got sexual programs for them. So that's you crazy. you could you could be a rape you could be a rapist or a child molester, get locked up and go to a fucking program, bro. Mm. That's fucked up. Like you dig what I'm I saying, they but they don't they have get the worst penalty. You kid it? A child molester? Fuck you, it. They they should, get the you kidding me? Penalty. They should be killing Fuck these dudes. They should, they should, they should, they should, they should be whatever, killing these dudes. They should dudes. get whatever they deserve in there. The, but That's they'll the, give they'll give a motherfucker they'll give a motherfucker to catch a drug case, ten years, fifteen years. This motherfucker still coming home from the Rockefeller law, bro. Damn. That they gave God, hell crazy. yeah. There's people that still coming home from the Rockefeller law that. They gave them so all this time back in the days for, for selling one crack. I know people that for so, so make, so making one sale. Mm. Dudes is doing like 10 years, man. They got like, what the fuck? For trying to make $10? Yeah. For making $10, you'll get 10 years. Damn, like, that's crazy, man. For that, for that, I might as well commit a robbery. Right. They're gonna give me six, seven, eight years. It's the same shit. And I might take a, I might get a bigger bag. Right, right. So this is the chances that this this is why the crime I was as time went by, crime was just going up. It goes it goes from everybody in the seventies, eighties selling wild drugs to the violent going up, mad robberies now. Like fuck, what, what fuck we gonna sell drugs for we know this fucking time. Right, right. That's a fact. Yes, sir. You hey. even know might as well go out there and get the bag. They they not even, 
I met a dude, I met, I met a dude, the dude, they get a dude 15 years. He was white too. They get a dude 15 years for like 15 robberies. What about hey. what MS 13? Yeah, what about MS? That's a good question. Fucking um, MS 13s. Hey, you, you don't really see it. I got a story with an MS 13 too, and we was protected. Let me hear that. Let's talk about it, man. We 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 just freestyle. They don't live. I don't know that they don't be living though. They don't. They don't be. They, it's that they be doing too. They 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 crimes be too hate. They shit be like too crazy. They be, having, they be having rape involved in this shit too. They be mm. killing kids. They be killing the whole family. They don't be having like shit like that. Mm. Who the fuck want to protect niggas like that? Who the one who want to be around shit like that? You know what I'm saying? Killing innocent people. Now, there was one. There was one, and I met, and I and his name was crazy. He was at MS13, and I had met him in the island. I met first. a few. I met a few. He was official, crazy, and had nothing, no bullshit. But he had beef with the Kings. That's now that's the thing. They got beef with the Kings. The Kings is not letting them live in New York State. So as soon as MS13 gets locked up, they got beef with Kings. Right. You know what I mean? Now, they, in all reality, them niggas got beef with everybody. Because if you go to Long Island where they really at, or, or in the areas that they at, they don't really, they segregated. They really don't fuck with their outsiders, bro. If you're not Salvadorian or like shit like that, they really don't fuck with you like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Right. There's certain ones that 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 I with that with with that corny shit, but they try to stick together. And in prison, you don't really see them niggas like that. I only really seen. And if you see any, oh no, I really never really seen that many MS-13s. I probably seen like two or three. Same thing like Crips. They don't let them niggas live. Come around Mexican things. Nigga, bro, to tell you the truth, it ain't really if it ain't if you're not a throwback gang, nigga, you just can't come out of nowhere with a gang. Like it's not really niggas ain't jacking it. Yeah, like uh, no, you yeah, can't. Yeah. It can't. All right, if, if like if we in you we in sing, let's make really a good example. We in sing, sing yard. All right, we, we know there's Lion Kings in here in this yard. We know there's five percenters. We know there's Muslims. We know there's um, we know there's um, three rules, and we know there's um, might you might have old school nietas. You might have like two or three of them. Oh, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you might have two of them. We already know because they from the throwbacks. Yeah, hell yeah, everybody knows. Yeah, everybody, yeah. you know, you, those are the original original games. Yeah. And then you got. All right, so if you got somebody coming out of nowhere, you got outlaw too. Outlaw. That's that's probably like yeah, you got those two. That's you got the rat hunters. Because matter of fact, you got the rat hunters. Yeah, the, the, the rat hunters, hunters yeah. fuck with the outlaws. They, they got something like that. Like the rat hunters fuck with the outlaws. Yeah. But it's a lot of white dudes that's outlaws. Then you got the white dude, whatever. I mean, we, we know every nation or whatever the, whatever they, they they is or whatever. You got that. Right, but if you got somebody coming out of nowhere talking about my gang is such and such. All the gangs that's living together right here is gonna look like who the f what gang yeah, is yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like we never yeah. even heard of these yeah. dudes. You know what I'm it's saying? Like squad. it's yeah. the same shit. Like the, the blood be going out with them. It, but there's mad different sets in, in this hub already in a set that they never heard. Nigga, they gonna go into their history and yeah. try to figure out where the fuck that shit they came from. Yeah. And that shit, that's one of the main beefs that they be having. Yeah. 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 How do they move in prison? What kind of people are they? The five. Who? Five percenters. They be cool, man. I ain't gonna find. Never had no no issues. It be like five. a lot of old heads, though. Ain't no young five percenters, is it? Nah, cause they be they be regrouping, man. They they you know they they be speaking they be speaking a lot of light to a lot yeah, of people. That's a babe. fact. I'm God body myself. You know. You know. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. No, that's, okay. That's, that's crazy. My boy right here is God body. You know what I'm saying? Like like I said, they they vibes is just, they want to teach you. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. They 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 don't mean they don't mean they don't mean harm. So it's like. Why would you want to be for the person that he's want to give you to teach you something? They, you, know, they don't, right. they're not, you know what I'm saying? And they've always been like that. They probably don't agree with what you do or what shit, certain shit, but I don't know. I ne we never really had, I'm thinking, I never, I never, I became cool with a 5% of the prison because me and him they had the same last name. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Got you, got you. Got you. Shit like that. Like, Listen, the, the, when, nah, nah, that's crazy. Awesome. You've been you you you've been behind a wall a lot. Like you've been in a, in your twelve years, you've been in a cell a lot. I did. I was, I was. It was all cells. So how about you had a cellmate in the box? Have you ever got into it with a cellmate in the box? Thanks. 
Okay, like, can you speak like, on it? Like three times. Oh, for real? I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a crazy story. All right, bet. Box. This story's crazy. Now look, we in the box now. Give me in the box. So they, they, they put me. I've been in the box already, so I know how this shit goes. You know what I'm saying? Go yeah. Box, boom. Give me in the box. So the dude that's in the dude that's that's in the box, this nigga got thirty years in. Mm. He got like he had like twenty seven years in. Mm. And he's a, he's known. He's what you call a, a legend in the joint. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Yeah. But me, I'm, I'm a wild boy. I'm, I'm I'm in there. Boom. You know what I'm saying? I'm in there. Yeah. But Hispanic dude, he was a Hispanic dude. But this dude was like a pro Hispanic. He was, he had his race, his ways. But you know what I'm saying? He just, yeah. he was just, he was different. Like this dude was out of, boom. But we in there for like, we in there for a minute. I told you I had a year. He had ten years already in the box. Damn. He had ten years already in the box. He had wild bunkies. I'm talking about wild bunkies. So he's over, over, over experienced, my nigga. You know right. what I'm saying? Like this dude, he knows the ins and outs about the box right now. Right. Boom. I peeped that though. I, I I made the analysis to that too. Like when I figured out that he had 10 joints and this dude had like a thousand. You see this room right here? You yeah. see how this was clogged up that there's no room in here? Yeah. His cell was exactly like that. Mm. He had books. He had so many fucking books. I was look, I was amazed at first, like, damn. But then I'm thinking in my head, like, damn, what the fuck I'm asleep? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like this, <laughs> like I'm, I'm and I look back at the CEO, like how this shit is gonna work. Like, oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, look at this shit in here, my nigga. Like, how this shit is gonna work in here. The CEO turns right back around, they close the cell, <laughs> nigga, they leave you up in there, nigga, to like figure it out. All right. Wow, that's crazy, bro. Facts. What? Nigga, he walks in the cell. Boom, he walks in the cell. He like, yo, what's up? Gives me a hand. First thing he tells me in Spanish. He was like, yo, you Hispanic? I'm like, yeah, do do do. He want to get that out the way. Okay, got you. Because if I'm black, I don't think we gonna get along in here. You heard? That's what I'm. That's what I'm guessing. That's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah, you're right. Um, like, yep. yeah, he was like, all right, cool, boom, boom. He was like, yeah, I'm going to move some of these books. He was like, listen, this is what he tells me. He was like, the books in the, in the top bunk, I'm not going to take them down. You can sleep. You can sleep in the bottom bunk. I'm going to sleep on the floor. Mm. I said, I'm like, yo, I'm like, you want to sleep on the floor? He was like, yeah, yeah, we good. I'm like, you, you good with you, with me sleeping on the floor? I'm like, yo, bro, nah, bro, you can sleep out here. And plus me being respectful because he's an older gene. He's been locked up for so long. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. That's right. That's right. I heard of him. I heard of him. When he told me his name, I heard who I heard of him. His name ring bells in jail. You know got what I'm you, saying? Got you. So yeah. I'm like, oh okay, I'm in the cell with this dude. I'm like, all right, cool. Boom. So his name ring bells. Boom. So I'm in the cell, dude. Now Dick's door neighbor. I ain't gonna front. Shout out to my boy Choco. He's in the feds right now. He came when we went to the feds. My boy Choco was in the next boy He was one of my bros. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Now we used to we 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 somehow some way we came out with a plug and we started getting wild tobacco in our cell, nigga. Like we okay. was getting wild pouches. Damn. You don't have this, um, charger? Oh, here we go. Go there. No, no, no. We go. We got, got like 20, 20 more percent. All right. We, I think we got enough. So look, boom. Let me. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. So look, we in the cell. So we was getting mad tobacco, right? Boom. So with the tobacco, you could get, and we in the box. So remember, the food is slop. The food be bullshit. And then the food be done two, three hours before they give it to us already. And that shit just be sitting somewhere in the cart. So they decide to come give it to us. You dig what I'm saying? So yeah. shit is bullshit. Now when we gain the bread, when we gain the when we gain this 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 tobacco, we gain mad, we buying all the coke that's that's official salami, that's official cheese, we buying oatmeal, Quaker oats meal, we buying peanut butter and jelly. Like I we I flooded the whole cell. The the laundry dude was one of my bros. I, I think the laundry dude was one of my bros. This nigga was he was throwing us five pouches. We had to buy five pouches, mad tobacco. We had mad shit, right? 
Yeah. But this dude, this dude, he likes fucking around with dope. You know what I'm saying? That shit calls Brad in there. So he right. was, and that shit is in there, like in the box. Everybody has everything in the box, bro. It's, it's, everything's boom. Like we just locked in the cell, but niggas is right. still, niggas is still getting weed. Niggas is still getting, we still, that's still coming through. Okay. We, we can still got bangers, niggas still got razors and all that in the box. Like you can still get cut, you can still get stabbed in the box. It's facts. Right. So, boom. I don't know. Somehow, so weird. This dude wasted the majority of his food one day. Like, oh, his peanut butter and jelly. Girl. He, I think he had jelly left. He ain't had no more peanut butter. And I used to split everything with him. Like, I give him half. You know what I'm saying? I used to get a nigga half and more because I'm the one making it. So, I'm, I was getting extras. So, I used to give him half and more because I used to have extras, too. But right. this day, I, I, I really like, I fed up. I, was, I didn't really decide. He, he wanted the more peanut butter. Actually, what happened was we lost the plug, so we was getting, we was, we wasn't, we wasn't generating no more. We not been generating like we used to, so we was getting down to the end of it. He wanted some of my peanut butter. I'm like, nah, nah. What the fuck you mean? You want some more peanut butter? <laughs> the fuck? I'm talking about peanut butter to eat, though. Nah, I'm not talking about because some people think peanut butter is your butt, your ass. It's not that. Right. I'm talking about peanut butter and jelly to, right, to right. put it on a sandwich. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I told him, nah, you ate all your peanut butter. Nah, bro. She so was like, what? what are he starts going back and forth. We starts going back and forth. Now, mind you, he's a, as a matter of fact, Hound Dog's missing three fingers. Mm. And he's missing three fingers. I never asked him why or how he lost them three fingers. Right. But he still was nice with his hands, right? So we're going to start going back and forth for a little bit. Me, I'm the type, I don't really argue that much. But I guess he he knew that. I guess he made that knowledge that he knew that that I was a, that I I get busy too. You know what I'm saying? So at one motion, I was like, "Yo, bro, like the fuck?" Is he popped me. He he punched me in my face. <laughs> he hit me right here. Now I'm out. He ain't knocked me out, but I I fall. Boom. The three will starts banging my body. Three will starts banging on the wall like yo, like yo, yo. That like that like woke me up a little bit. He starts he starts feeling bad like damn yo, damn what the fuck man, damn. Now me I'm I'm thinking I'm kind of dizzy. I get up now I'm leaking. He got split this shit. Like you see this teeth? Yes, I this, see it. This teeth is like sharp. So I guess when he punched me, my skin moved this way, and this whole shit was ripped over here like this. <laughs> I need oh, yeah. a, stitches. Wow. I need a stitches. Check it. Boom. But I'm sitting down in the bed. I'm not even thinking about that right now. I just know I'm bleeding. Boom. Right. So I see that I'm bleeding too much. I get up. I go to the, I go to the, we had like a little mirror. We go to the mirror. He's starting to panic. He's starting to panic. Cause he, 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 he's fingering his mind. There were all this blood. I need stitches. We going to get caught. Niggas. He, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I the mirror. Boom. I look to the mirror. He comes. I'm looking at, I'm looking at the, he comes like behind me. I elbow him. Hit that nigga dude right in his in his jumper. He grabs me as soon as I elbow him. He grabs me and we just starts going in and do, 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 do. my boy starts, my boy starts screaming through the vent, like yo, yo, he was like wow commotion, yo, 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 bugging in there. We then tussling, going back and forth. So in one motion, I like, I don't know, somehow so I done punched this dude, and this dude just done fell on the floor. And he just started giving him up. Like, yo, chill, you got it. You we gonna go, we gonna get caught. We gonna okay, he started compromising. Right. If we would have just kept like somebody would have to say something, like we, we was just gonna keep on fighting, you know what I'm saying? Right. What, police, you know? We were just fighting. So when well, we was out of breath, we both getting up. I'm still bleeding, you know what I'm saying? I had to bust his nose, he's bleeding out his nose. Now we trying to clean the police. Actually, one of the police was doing around and he came and he looked in there. Luckily, I guess he luckily that he just didn't stop and look inside the cell. He just right. did around and just kept it moving. We both looked at each other and we just started cleaning the shit up. We just started cleaning the shit up. Boom. My bro is through the vent, like, yo, like yo, nobody saying nothing though. Everybody, everything is just like quiet. My bro is just the one man, yo, yo. He's tight though. Cause he know the older dude that the oh he thinking the older dude is in there trying to just beat me the fuck up doing this down the third year, right? Holding my own like, you know what I'm saying? Now yeah. check it. 
Now I need stitches. I told you this shit right here is 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 is, is, is shit right there. So be like, yo, man. He's sitting there, whatever. He's like, damn, bro, we're gonna have we're gonna have we gotta do how the fuck we gonna this shit just leaking, my nigga. Boom. So I get on the gate, I'm like, I get on the gate and I'm like, yo. On the bottom of the gate, like you know, on the bottom of your door, I, I get on the floor and I and I get on the bottom of the door and I and I start screaming out to the gallery, like, like on the tail, like, yo, in Spanish, like, yo, anybody got a sewing needle? Yeah. Right? My luck, it was a Lane King dude down the gallery. I forgot his name. It's Lane King down the gallery. He was like, yo, yeah, your luck. I got one over here, brand new. I'm like, yo, saying that, bro. I'm, I'll, I'll give you some. I'll give you some cigarettes. He knew what was happening, though. He knew that so he knew it was from somebody to get sold up. Right, I made, right. I made my bunkie. The coach, the coach had a linen, like a little type of. It was official linen. I made my bunkie. We took that linen up. I made him sew me up in the cell, bro. I, I made him sew me up close in the cell, and we got away with that shit. <laughs> That's a crazy story. Facts. We got away uh, with that. I said heard it, right? This nigga, I, man, I've been through worse, man. I'm like, we trying to get away from catching more. We trying to get away from catching more. He got he got 10 years in the box, my nigga. This right here is a nigga, he, he, experienced box fighter, experienced everything, seasoned, all of that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He got, he got 10 years in the box. Not only that, he's trying to get out that bitch too. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Not trying to, he's not, he, 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 niggas is mad in there. Like, we mad in there. We, everybody just mad in there. We started getting into a fight. You know what I'm saying? We got lucky with a punch, broke my, you know, ripped my shit. Fuck it. How was the energy after that, though? I mean, somebody got to tell. How, how, how is that going to work? So, so after that happened, how long would y'all understand? So if, if any of us go on the gate, if I would have went on the gate and be like, yo, I can't live it here, or he goes in the game and be like, yo, I can't live it here, you done. Gotcha. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. So we compromise, basically. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Either, either, either he would have... So what happened from there? Nah, bro, we just lived in there. No, I mean, I mean, if you was like, yo, I don't want to be in here, but... If, nigga, you telling why you don't want to live in there? You got to tell him why you want to live in that cell. Why you don't want to live in there? Because this nigga don't... Well, like, you got to you gotta tell him why. Right, right. Why yeah. you don't want to live in there? Why you, well, you tell the pro, if you call the CO to the gate, yo, CO, I got another box story, too. I, be, I, I put him... I, he, he left. I had to put him on the gate. He literally Talk had about to... It. Talk about it. So, look. White kid, he comes in my cell. He was, this is already my cell. You know what I'm saying? So he comes in my cell. So white kid, energetic, want to be black, all over the place in the cell. Doo -doo -doo -doo. He was in the <laughs> pants sagging all over his ass. Boom, boom. So me, the only thing I used to, like, I, the only thing I used to do in my, like, on the gate was play chess. You know what I'm saying? I used to play chess and Lakeview is different though. You can't really be on the gate. You, you police tell you get off the gate, get off the gate. They're going to give you a ticket like this. You got more time in the box. You know what I'm saying? So you got to yeah. be strategized how to be on the gate. Boom. So one time, I actually beat him up two times. One, the first time, he gets, I was sleeping though. He, he was violating. Like he really didn't give a fuck. I was sleeping. So I, I'm, I'm on the top bunk. And then over there, you don't pick bunks. They pick the bunks for you. You heard? The po it ain't no, it ain't. You, you can't go in the cell and be like, yo, get the fuck off from up there, nigga. I'm, oh, get the fuck off from the bed, nigga. I'm, I want, it ain't like that. The police right. sign your bed. So I'm on the top bunk. He in the bottom bunk. This nigga gets on the gate like at 9.30 in the morning screaming some other shit, some Albany. I think it was from Albany. Mm. So, yo, boy, boy, he was saying something like that. Boy, 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 I'll never forget me. He just woke me up on my bed like, I look back like, yo, my man, what does he do, bro? <laughs> he said, yo, I don't be telling you, I don't be telling you when you be on the gate playing chess. No. 
Cause I, I already got like ten, I already got like nine joints in. I got like ten. I already know how some of these niggas is, b. Right. And I size, I size niggas up immediately. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I'm, di- yeah. I'm like that. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm, I, I want to know how to handle situations. Yeah. Right. So right. I'm like, yo, bro, my nigga, I don't be screaming the way you want. I tell him I don't be screaming the way you be on. You on the gate right now? You bugging, bro? I'm sleeping, my nigga. Like, what's up? He turns around on me like giving the they're ignoring me type shit. Like mm. get back on the gate, like yo, yo. I feel my blood pressure go up, bro. I'm like, I ain't even I ain't even brush my teeth. Right. I'm, he's still on the gate. So I'm like, yo, bro, so what? That's how you giving it up, my nigga. So you not, you not, you not, you're not gonna respect my sleep or none of that. He ain't saying I just jumped off the bed. He had long hair. I grabbed him by the long hair. He tried like to. I grabbed him. He had long hair. I, yo, it was so fast, bro. I jumped off the bed, my nigga, off the top bunk. Grabbed him by the long hair. He tried like turned around and like grabbed me. I elbowed him. Boom. He like yeah. went down. When he went down, I need him. When I need him, I panicked because I seen the blood immediately. I said, "My man, next door, yo, Jerry." Yo, Jerry, tell! Because he already knew. Niggas already seen the white boy. And niggas right. already knew the white boy was a fucking clown. Yeah. You know what I mean? Niggas already knew this white boy was a clown, bro. So when I, but the, the, they heard the tussling going back and forth. Like, yo, Jerry, chill, you're going to oh, catch a new charge. Right. I stopped. I stopped. So look, he didn't want to stop, though. He When he got up, because when I hit him, he buckled. And he went down. But he got back up. And when he got back up, he tried to like come towards me again. I flipped him and I put him like on the floor, Nelson, with his neck under my bro. Look, just like this, we felt just like this. As soon as he came under, I turned him and I put him on the floor, Nelson. We felt just like this, just like this. His neck was under my arm, bro. Inside a cell, nobody else in there. He was a dead man. Right. I put, crap, I put all my pressure on him. He started to choke. <laughs> I'm like, you gonna fucking relax? I will fucking, <laughs> bro. Like, you need to fucking relax, bro. And he started tapping me because he couldn't breathe. He started tapping me. You gonna relax if you keep swinging? I'm not gonna stop next time. And I let him. I pushed him, boom, and I got up. And so now he's just looking at me. I'm like, you gonna relax? I told your dumb little because I had got into a little argument with one like I. Like three or four days before that, and I told him, "Yo, bro, if I give you what I'm gonna give you, bro, you're not gonna be able to handle my like, what I'm gonna come give you, bro. You need right. to just relax, my nigga. You need to relax, bro." And he still wanted to be tough. Choked this little dumbass out. Boom. Hmm. He in the mirror now, looking at himself. Boom, boom. Yeah, he in the mirror looking at himself. We got ten percent. He in the mirror looking at himself and all that. Boom. So I'm like, thinking this sound like, hope the police don't come see this nigga bruised up. He was a little bruised up or whatever. Hey. I'm like, all right, but damn. So I'm like, yo, look, what we doing, bro? This is what I tell him. I'm like, yo, look, what are we doing, bro? No, no, just chill, chill. I'm like, are you sure? I'm like, yo, look, I'm going to let you stay in the cell. I don't usually do this, bro. I don't let nobody stay in the South that I get into a fight with them, bro. Right. Gonna, if you attempt to do anything to me in my sleep or anything, bro, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to try to kill you. I'm not going to play with you no more. You're going to have to leave out of the cell. No, no, we good, we good. All right, we good. Look, because he used to do dumb shit. Now, over there, they give you levels and shit, like, get your level you get your sneakers after you get like to level three or something to give you your shorts it was summertime you can get your shorts you get your sneakers or whatever like you get the shampoo and that gets different they teach you like some little kid type shit right right look three days after that after the fight i don't know what this little dumb nigga did that he had ordered some i think he had ordered some some um books he had ordered some books we had ordered some books from the library or whatever he went and did some dumb shit and ripped off a ticket off the book. 
Yeah, he he ain't sent me. He ain't told me nothing. I guess he 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 ain't think of it, right? You know what I'm saying? He went and rips of some type of serial number ticket off the book or some shit. Like two days later, right? I'm on my top bunk reading the newspaper. I used to hear the cell door open. What the fuck? I look back there with like, yo, don't move, just don't move. They took my sneakers, they took, they were like, take your shorts off. We need your shorts. I'm like, what happened? They used to take your shorts off. I'm like, yo, what happened? They used, we need your shorts. You, you lost the privilege, you lost everything. I'm like, what? Lost everything for, like, what the fuck is y'all talking about? So I'm like, took my shorts off. They took the newspaper, because you gotta be on some type of level to read the news. They took the newspaper. So while they walking out with all our shit, they're like, yeah, blame your blame your stupid ass bunky for taking out the the the, 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 the little piece of paper or the fucking um library. Hey, hey. Uh, you serious? That's some dumb shit. Damn. <laughs> they tell you not to do that shit? You, you altering their property. It's the serial number. Why would you do it anyways? Dun, ding, ding. You hit it right on the you hit it right on the head. Why would you do it anyway? It's not yours. Right. It's a serial number so they can count their books so they know where their book is at. Mm. You go take that off. Boom. I I looked at this when the police said that I looked at this dumb nigga. I'm like, you you, you just gotta fuck with shit, bro. I gotta suffer because of you, my nigga. What? You shut the fuck up. Shut the Because now he was a, now you was definitely just like, you can't say nothing to me in this fucking cell, man. Shut the fuck up, man. I was tight, man. Yeah. They pack us up like two days later. Oh, for real? Yeah, but they pack us up and they keep us in the same cell, but upstairs. Damn. <laughs> we That's go crazy. upstairs. Look, we goes upstairs, right? That's crazy. Check it. I, and I told the police, though, like, yo, can you separate me from this kid, bro? Like, I told them. I, I ain't going to lie. Like, I, I had yeah. told them, because I am picturing, man, I was going to kill this kid in there, bro. Right. They do fucking faggot shit. So I'm, in there, I'm like, fuck it, we upstairs. Like, three days pass. Ain't here last <laughs> week. Three days pass. So I'm on the top bunk. Behind me, right, it's like a little window with a screen, and they got a little hole. They got, like, a little hole like this, right? Yeah. Now, outside the window, outside the window, it's a big-ass spider web. It's a big-ass spider web, and it's like a big-ass spider. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's actually in that, on that on red pen. It's a big-ass spider like that. Boom. Now, it's summertime. Out there, there'd be mad wild bugs. On the spider web, there's mad bugs. Now, mind you, I told you there's a hole on that screen. Those bugs could have been inside our cell if that spider web was not there, right? Okay, got you, got you. Guess what son do? Son goes over and starts fucking with the spider web. God, this nigga from? Me. I'm reading the book. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm like, yo. I'm like, yo, son, yo. what are you doing, my nigga? <laughs> Fine. At yo. the same motion, right, while he's doing that, I'm like, yo, son, what are you doing, my nigga? The spider, the spider is bothering you? Oh. Protect we'll animals now. <laughs> Looks at him. Boom, right? I know that. I didn't know, I know that one. Boom. Then at that same motion, I look on his on his calf. He has some big ass. He has some big ass. How you, a sis. He had like a big ass sis with the big ass white pus in that shit. Oh, man. So I'm like, yo, what the fuck? What the fuck? Facts, my nigga. I was like, yo, what the fuck is that? He said, the spider, the spider. The, oh no, he said, he. This what he said. He said, the spider probably bit me right here. That's why I got this right here. I said, no, you just a dirty motherfucker that don't take showers because he ain't take showers. I was like, you just a dirty motherfucker that don't take showers, man. Yeah, I said some other shit. I jump off that bed. I rinsed him and I, 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 I put him through that hole. He started screaming for police. He literally started screaming for police. And he got on the gate, blood everywhere. And I made him clean his own blood. I'm like, yo, Damn. clean. I can tell you, I made him, I said, yo, clean that shit up right now. Clean I, made, I made him clean his own blood. And on the fucking gate, man. Tell police you don't want to live in here. And don't tell. Don't fucking tell. But police already knew. Right, right, right. And, so, and, and I'm, I'm not going to even lie. Look, boom. They, they, they came and got him. Boom. When they came and got him, put him to the gate. He was like, come to the gate. So when I go to the gate, he like, yo, what happened? I looked at him. 
Because you can look at some of them and you and, 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 and you know that they're not trying to fuck you, you heard? Right, the right. Ones they're, fuck, they're gonna fuck the ones that trying to fuck you, they're gonna fuck you. You know what right. I'm saying? There's certain CEOs that's human, be that you know, they just they just doing a job, but you got the ones that they want that's how they that's their profession. They gonna go hard. You got the real, real corrupted ones. Right. But this one right here, this one was like he knew that white boy was a fucking dick and he deserved what he got. So he came to the he was like, yo, what happened, man? What happened? I'm like, yo, I'm gonna keep it real, man. I'll beat this shot out of him. He was like, cut for his ass. He fucking asshole. He walked off. Damn. That's how I fucked up. That's how I fucked. You know what I'm saying? That's how it be sometimes. That right, was. right. Dang. Yeah. Word. That's, that, that's, 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 that's a good segment, man. That's a Last question, man. Last question before we got out of here. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, man. Hit that like and subscribe button. We here with Dykeman's only. You already know. Last question. In them 12 years you did upstate, did it ever come a point in your prison sentence you was like, man, you know what, man? Let me just chill, man, and try to make it home. Let me stay out of some trouble, man, and try to make it home. Did it ever come in the time of your sentence you did that? From the beginning. From the beginning of the sentence, that should be your mentality. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's double. No, 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 no. It's yeah, that's point, a fact. I, not you know what's drama, crazy? You just, you just, you know. That's what, what I was gonna say. You just wave. You gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. You I was gonna it. say that from the beginning. That's the main thing. I want to get the. I want to get out. I want to get out of here. But my affiliations and shit. You know, people that shit that was going on when I was my my journey, man, it went the way it went, man. You know what I'm saying? Shit. <laughs> Getting in a lot of them situations in jail. Does that keep you from going to program? Was you able to? Was you able to program? Or you was? It was always it took my good time. It took, I, I, oh, was, was, I was, yeah, I was supposed to max out. I had to go to programs to come home. They maxed so me out. I passed my CRD. I ain't come so home. Did you go home from a medium or a max? I came home from a medium, but I, my last max was Attica, and I only lasted like, I only lasted like two weeks in the medium. No, I, mm. probably, I probably lasted like a month in the medium. Facts. Okay. From doing, from doing, from doing, from doing all those maxes, that was the only medium. And all those maxes. I was in Sing Sing, Five Points, Auburn, Attica, Clinton, Lakeview, Box, Upstate Box. And answer this question. Last one, I promise y'all. I promise y'all. Last question. My nah, brother. Ask me, ask me questions, bro. Ask me questions. Okay. Go ahead. Put your phone about to die. That's why I said that. My brother coming up on he's 19 years in New York State Department of Corrections. He's been to every max except Sing Sing. He finally gets down to a medium. And stuff happens. I'm like, bro, how does stuff happen in the medium? You was at a max. He said that. Is this true about a medium? He said, like, a medium is like New York City. It's so much movement. People are, like, walking free. And he said when he was upstate, it was more controlled movement. Because I'm, You yeah. know what I'm saying? When he, his, his first medium was green. I'm like, that's. I heard green is a damn war zone. I only been, look, I'm going to tell you the mediums I've been to. I only been to Altona on my first bed. I only been to that medium. And I've been to Clayton Annex. That's like a medium, but it's still in Clinton. It's behind the wall. It's in Clinton. It's behind, yeah, it's in Clinton. It's just the annex. Okay. And there, there's not really no movement. Then I've been to Wyoming. Those are only two million mediums I ever been in. How yeah, it's, it's movement because you you don't gotta you don't all you gotta do is go to the to the to the desk. You can just sign your name and just wait for the time. Wait wait for the time to whatever whatever program or whatever you know what I'm saying is going on. You just walk out. Okay, how was Wyoming? It was laid back? All mediums is laid back. It just goes down in certain, in the, in certain mediums, you know what I'm saying? All are, mediums, are, they, are, they mediums are, they, are they less strict? In the medium, the guards? Yeah, the guards is like this all day in the, te in the test. Behind mm. the desk, you go to them, all you go to them is to get your mail from them because they receive it, and sign the paper to go. All you're doing is going up there to sign the paper. Or asking them for soap, stay soap, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Or they call you for the visit, but they just sit on the desk all day like this with a newspaper. Okay. And medium. And gotcha. medium. Like, they get okay. up like, probably every four. They do a round, make sure nobody's dead on their bed. You know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. And that's it. And mediums that oh, everybody else, every every everybody's doing what they doing. Everybody is inside inside of dorms, onto their programs, or whatever. Everybody got a different schedule. They're not, they're not, they're not walking you nowhere. They're just sitting down. Now, okay. Max, 
Lesnar and Max, and they walk you, child. Right, right. They crack you out a certain time, like. All right, that's what he said. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And what I was gonna say, um, okay. So you went, you went to the mediums, you went to all the maxes. I, we always people always speak on the bad thing that happened in prison. All of the bad stuff we went over. What if you, if you had to take a guess? What good came from prison from the twelve years? What like what good came from that? What did you learn? I learned I can make music. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. So you was um, it's like so I you was in. Huh? Go ahead. I learned patience. Okay. A lot of patience. And I learned how to make music, though. That's one of the main things. I wish I could do that shit before I got locked up. But that's one of the main things that I learned. I'm really good at making. Battling niggas up there? Huh? You was battling up there? No battling? No battle rapping? The only the only thing I was battling was with the bum. I wasn't really spitting. I was doing more. I did a lot of more writing. Like, okay. my, my, my rap. I wasn't confident with my rap in prison. But, um... I was battling with my beats. Actually, you know, the I was with the rapper. Actually, the rapper Ace Money Bags was one of the first rappers they call some my beats in prison in the yard. I used to take out my keyboard to the yard. I'm one. Of, I'm the reason in Auburn that you can't bring out your keyboard outside. Okay, okay, okay. I used to bring my keyboard outside, make the beat right there in the yard, and the whole crowd. One time, I remember Ace Money Bags came came through my table, and he was like. That shit, sound, that shit sound like some shit beans would jump on. This shit right. crazy. When he stopped there, because he's homie. He's the hat. So when he stopped there, man, niggas started coming in. And they would just started rapping right there. And the police got mad. Hey, break it up. Break it up. And then one, one day they told me, don't bring that fucking keyboard outside no more. Man. We going to break it. That's crazy. But hey, listen up. I appreciate y'all tuning in. I'm easy with hey, Black Rolling Stones. Hey, Thugger, oh. man. Get that hey, album. Hey, I love hey, album. Hey, Tell you about to shout his stuff out, his um studio out. Yeah, you know, man. You are, hey, dog, Black Rolling Stones, we here. Harlem, anybody that needs some studio time, videos. You know what I'm saying? We we got we got the event coming up February 13th, the Valentine's Day, where artists can come perform and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, what else? Like, yeah, I got just I just released the um I Love Africa album. You know what I'm saying? That's on all platforms. 